Okay, I took a picture of the before for my patio, and now this is the after. I got some plants. It's actually stone crop and miniature roses. So these are the stone crop right here, and the miniature roses are down there. And I actually put them on both sides. Stone crop is hanging. It's actually a pretty heavy plant but it turned out looking very nice I had no idea that they would look like that but they're very gorgeous and then the miniature roses I wish I'd taken the after um, when they were blooming but it, it was really nice um, the other pot actually has did have a tree in it um, I actually did not plant that. It just happened to start growing in there and then um, it's not doing too well. And then the rest is, is weeds. They look pretty to me, so I left them in there. Um, and then there's actually some scroll um, sun, um, solar lights. Now these are the solar lights and I got them from Lakeside Collection set so I could have them on both sides. And then I actually hung um, some solar lights all along the top of the water gutters. And the ones on the end are a little different, uh, but they're all they're all solar lights. The uh, the ones in the middle are the Edison lights, and they came from LakesideCollection.com as well. And then I got the table and chairs. The table is from Amazon. I believe it was uh, about eighty-eight dollars, and the uh, and it's, it's risen, I believe. It is not, even though it has that slate flat top to it. Um, it's not actually wood. It's risen, and then um, the chairs are steel, and I got those from Giant super G, the, the uh, grocery store. Uh, they had some chairs that they were selling um, and I believe they were a little over seven dollars with, um, my, with my discount card. So about eight dollars a piece for the chairs which turned out to be a really great deal, a, re a real steal. Um, a lady was there and saw me getting them and was like, oh, they are so nice, but there were only a few left. She was like, oh, you're getting all the chairs. I'm like, look, I got here, <laughs> and I got the chairs. Um, so they are steel, and it's not actually wicker. It's the, the durable, fake wicker. And then I got the pillows from um, TJ Maxx. I believe they were $20 a piece. Um, and yes, it is a lot to pay for the pillows, but I like them. They're nice and big. I got a matching set. Um, so, there you go. I did get, I did spend a little bit more than I wanted to do on the pillows. Um, I also got the, um, almost terrarium-like, but they're, it's not real, though. It's not real. Um, they almost look like Christmas bulbs that you would hang. <laughs> but, um... They actually are very nice. I think they were about five ninety nine, like six bucks a piece. I think that was also TJ Maxx, and it's fake. Oh, this is this is not real, <laughs> but it looks gorgeous. Um, I also got the um, this is the Citronella candle uh, from TJ Maxx, encased in cement. Um, very beautiful. I loved it when I saw it. Um, didn't get it when I first saw it. Had to go back and get it. Um, and it's sitting on a marble, um, uh, I think it's a, a cutting board, like a bread cutting board, um, that I also got at TJ Maxx, and I think I paid like 13 bucks for it, it, it for uh, a marble uh, cutting board. Uh, I was surprised that it was only about 13 bucks, and it's, it's pretty heavy, and of course the, the candle needs to sit on something. Um, that is heat resistant, so I'm hoping that it's heat resistant enough <laughs> for the candle. Um, and I did have a party, so I had some trash bins. One of them is trash, one of them is, is recycling. I think I got this from Walmart. The rug I got from um, Lakeside Collection again. Uh, I 
think it might have been $12. Uh, it, it's kind of thin, uh, but it does look nice. So it turned out okay. Uh, I'm okay with it. Um, and then the baker's rack. Um, I wanted one a little bigger. However, I was at the flea market and found it for seven dollars. Guy, well, he was selling it for ten, but I tossed him down to seven. Um, and so it holds my watering can that I also got from TJ Maxx. Um, I want to say like thirteen bucks, twelve ninety nine, something like that. Um, and then um, of course I had handy wipes and um, a bug spray for the party. And I. I think that that is it. Let me go out again. Try and give you the full view of the patio. Maybe if I go this way, you'll see a little bit better. And of course, I'm not done. I believe that I'm going to do a little bit more. Yeah, that looks really nice right there. So that there is the after for the patio. I have some more to do, and some more decorating to do, but for this summer, that's it. Thanks. Bye. Okay, this is the front of the house. I think I forgot to videotape this part, the before part, um, but this is the, the hanging plant and the planter that I put out front to kind of jazz up the, uh, the front of the house. So I'll go in and first I'll cover the, the planter. And the planter is lavender. And I believe I got the planter from Lowe's. I can't remember how much it cost. Um, but it, was, it wasn't too expensive, really nice, pretty color. And the decorative stones I got from the Dollar Tree. And then for the hanging plant, it's actually three different plants. Um, uh, the fr front part of it are pansies that I got from Lowe's. The uh, decorative uh, grass is in the middle, and I got that from Lowe's as well. And then the stone crop is in the back. And the stone crop I got from um, Ronnie's Garden World in Smyrna. Uh, so that turned out really nice. Uh, I, it's actually, uh, that's not a full stone crop plant because uh, it's a lot bigger. Uh, I took one of them and cut off a portion of it. You have to cut down to the root ball. And I was really worried that I was going to damage the plant, um, but I didn't. <laughs> I was like, oh no, I'm killing this plant. But I didn't. I cut all the way down to the root, through the root put it in here and it's done very well. Uh, I just started with the stone crop in the back, I put the grass, uh, planted that in the middle, and then the pansies planted those right up front and just filled in with dirt um, in between any holes in there and make sure it gets water. And it turned out really nice. It was actually blue, red, white, and blue for July 4th, but the um, the white pansy didn't come out, so it just remained the red and blue, almost purple really. But that's the front of the house.